And as always on this channel, we show you the things that don't go right. Plans don't exactly go to plan like, well, we're to like this. We're to so this box has been here for probably a year now and we don't know what's in it. What's up guys and welcome to another episode of the Drift Games Vlog. This is a big one because we're going to update you on a lot of stuff that's been going on behind the scenes. I've got my dog here because people like dogs and you're paying attention to me because the dog is cute. Okay, a couple of weeks ago we hit our 100,000, yes, we hit our 100,000 subscriber mark and we're going to make some big changes to the channel. So I'm heading to the shed today to get two of the cars finished and let you guys know what's coming up in the next few weeks. But first, we've got a very dirty super outside. All right, so there's a brand new company in Northern Ireland called Pro Splash, and they've sent us down one of their power washers. Now, I've broken a lot of power washers in the past because they're not great quality, but these guys reckon this is the best in the business. This is the PS150, or I'm gonna unbox it, and try and give the Supra a little bit of a clean up, and then take it to the shed to do some photos for our merch range. This is the Pro Splash PS150 or this is all the bits and pieces you need basically to clean your car You got a foam cannon rotary nozzle different pressures. It comes with all the gear in one box And now for the most satisfying bit the foam cannon which the Pro Splash comes with Oh, while I'm cleaning the car, look where I landed. Kaki Motor Racing, Apexi, and D-Max. You know, they're gonna be the parts for the S15. Exhaust, intake, and our brand new, I mean brand new headlights for the S15. Anyway, sorry, we got distracted, back to the car. All right, so we just tested out the Pro Splash PS150 or it's a nice bit of kit and what I like about it is that it's an Irish owned company. They're a startup, so show them some support. It comes with all the gear. You got the nozzles, the foam cannon, the patio cleaner. It's pretty much what you'd expect from a very high end power washer, but at a very low price. The range starts from 129 pounds and because you're sound enough to watch me wash in the car, which can be quite boring, we're gonna give our Drift Games watchers 15% off by using the code D-R-I-F-T at checkout. So check out the full range of Pro Slash. Now let's go to the shed because we got so much to cover in this video. Let's get to it. All right, so we're here at the shed and this is a bit of a weird video because we've got lots of little bits and pieces to do. Although we do want to achieve one thing by the end of this video. We want to give you an update on the compound. We want to give you an update on the merch. We want to give you an update on two brand new shows we're making a week, but even more importantly, we want to get the two PS13s done. We've got one which is looking very sorry for itself there, but the boys are going to help on. The other one is back. It's been sitting in Triple Eight for a couple of weeks because we haven't had any space. Because remember, we cleaned the garage like two weeks ago. And it's still clean. And it's still Look at this. <laughs> for now. And as a little bonus, we've got some shiny new parts, including what's in this box, which is a very special thing, which I don't think anybody. What's in that box? I don't think anyone in Europe has these yet, and I'm going to tell you what they are very, very shortly. Now let's get some cars. Uh, let's get some cars fixed or cleaned or ready for road. Ready for road and sorted. I, that word doesn't come out of my mouth very easily. Ready for road. We've been in this. Well, you've only said it twice in your life, yeah, and that was with the Supra and the GX. Like, I'm going to double the amount of road legal cars I have in this one episode. So stay tuned for that or watch an absolute disaster. Well, we'll, see, we'll see if that happens. <laughs> in theory, we should have four ready. Well, I did. This one's gone backwards now. To be fair, this was ready for road. Now, you know what? Should, should we just get to it? <laughs> yeah, that's just mad, just mad for tar. Mad for tar. Right, let's jump back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we took the cars out to give them a wipe down, and as always on this channel, we show you the things that don't go right. So, this car hasn't moved in like a year, and we we're just saying we want to get the number plates on it, get it ready. And then Adam was just backing it in, heard a massive bang. Can I just say, Adam, an another car you drove. I'm having a rep I do have a reputation at this point, but it was, it was literally just turned the car off, bang, the car just dropped. And then yeah, I looked so up. luckily the car was actually stationary when it happened, but you can see here, the tire has actually worn through the airbag. I can put my hand through that hole. So just bang on the airbag. And look, looking at the marks on it, that's, that's not. And that wheel has been hitting that airbag for a very long time. So what I think has happened is, when the car came in from Japan to the UK, I know the guys at Carson Performance lowered the car more, to make the front actually sit on the ground. But I think what's happened is it's cambered the wheels so far in that when the car is sitting on the ground, it's actually just pushing against the airbag. Um, so yeah, basically, 
we need a new airbag for the front of this and we have what three weeks to get all these cars done so this is I, I thought this one was done so now we're going to try and raise the coil over up to the very highest so at least it'll roll and we'll just wait on an airbag so one step forward one step 20 yeah, steps back also to, in, to give you more information so Adam's E46 which Stephen Halford has been working on was ready for collection on Tuesday the wheels are here for it we'll show you those in a minute um, and all the parts of that car are literally here. The car was wired perfect. Uh, Stephen took it for a drive for about 45 minutes. Ready for collection at night. Ready for collection at night and the engine went in the car. So we're now looking for another 325 engine for that car. So that car is now going to be made up of four cars just to have a 325, because started with a 325 at this stage now. But it was, so basically all of this stuff kind of fights us as we go. So we always say that in the channel that, you know, other YouTubers and channels will be like, oh, everything's just great and everything, but like, yeah. All these cars are misery. So basically this one, which has never moved, basically broke down today. And this, the red, the red wait, we still, we still got a chance here. The red, the, red, the red car looks great. This one looks great and it's still okay. And then this one, all the suspension arms are coming for on Monday. So hopefully these two can be fixed. But this one I was banking on just cleaning it and taking it out to the shows like we did last year. But now we've got to do some repair work. And it has done zero kilometers. Prop, I would say one kilometer last year it did, just driving in off the trailer. So one kilometer in a year and it's broken. I would say as unlucky as this is, it's incredibly lucky oh, if that I, this happened in the garage. If you were driving down the road with that and it just, the bag just blew, it would pull the car to the right hand side or drop it on, it would lock it up, it would cr like absolutely smash all the body panels. So I'm very happy it happened here and not anywhere else, but we're going to have to give this car a full once through over and back before we even take it on the road. It will be going on the road, but now we've got to try and find a replacement airbag for it. So, yeah, we'll try and get on that today on the old interwebs. And uh, you're, you're, you're the master of marketplace. I am the master of finding parts, but uh, maybe to cheer ourselves up. Do you know what we should do? I'm going to put some, some decals and stuff on this car, but also uh, we'll have to wait for Wayne, obviously, to wind this up and see if we can move it back into place. And then we've got shiny, shiny boxes of parts, so let's go through them to cheer ourselves back up. Here. So sticking stickers on cars and opening but I think I don't know if we can go wrong with that. Unless you've ordered, oh. unless you've ordered the wrong parts. <laughs> well, let's kill this one. And let's kill this car anyway. Wait, we'll try and get that thing moved and put it back where it was. Oh. Adam, just don't, don't drive the red car no, now. It's not touching that. Right. <laughs> it looks great, guys. Yeah, doing a great job. <laughs> so that's the Mustang. E46. E46. You actually, haven't even driven that. I haven't even driven that and I killed it. You killed that oh, one but I wouldn't even be near it. Both times. And then... Uh, I drove that from now this. there to the ear and it broke. You're banned. Anyway, let's go look at some shiny stuff to cheer ourselves up. What a beautiful car. What a... Do you know what it's like? It's like a very high maintenance uh, lady. You get a lot of a lot of attention, a lot of looks. Drive you bloody Pure. mad. <laughs> <laughs> Drive you bloody mad. Pure grief. That's all it is. Honest, the Chainsaw Massacre is... Happening outside that door now. <laughs> A few moments later. So the bags have exploded, the chainsaw has been turned off. So, actually, when we were in the Middle East last time, it was the gold JZX100, wasn't it? The yeah. JZX100? Yeah. Uh, yeah, and I, I think I gave a nod behind the camera because I, I, noticed, I noticed the wheels that were on the, on the car. I've opened them upside down now, so I'll put them the other way. That was a good reveal, but then you can do oh, the whole... Oh, you can do the whole pop-out, yeah. So what wheels do you think? At home, let us know in the comments, what wheels do you think Adam has chosen for the E46? Don't lie, say if you got it right or wrong. <laughs> right now, right, right you coming down yeah, now. Right John, you're, John down. you're wrong. Yeah. No, it's not one of them. Okay. Here we go. I think that is it's a wheel. Boom. Let's go with SSR Nervas, yeah. which are a very nice wheel. Very nice. Are they the fronts? They're the fronts. So not, not, no. we, need, we need a little bit of TLC. A bit of TLC. It needs a bit of a. Um, I, I still, I still find it bonkers how these wheels in bad condition still go for a lot of money. Because they're rare. They're rare, you can't get them. Well, I'll tell you what, Josh. Your MX-5s in bad condition go for good money too, so there you go. <laughs> the wheels are cheap though. <laughs> <laughs> the rest are yeah. These are, of course, second hand, and we know that. So all of these need a little bit of refurb, and, uh, but I've opened up to the end of the game. Help. So these are I the rear. Give the dishy boys. Yeah, they're the rear boys. Yeah, they're going to look deadly. So JDM wheels on an E46 with a big massive body kit from Click Tuning. Big massive wheels. It just needs, and they're also big wheels, it needs a bloody engine now. <laughs> yeah. no, no so Adam's got some toys, but I have 
This is the one I alluded to. This is the one. I'd say Adam's got a lot of work to be had there. No, the rest is horse. Uh, Wheel brand joke. <laughs> so these, right? What are these? These have come from Japan. So these are not locally sourced. Oh, I know the logo on the box. So what these are, Adam, is absolutely like ridiculous, right? So these are brand new S15 headlights. Brand new, but not from Nissan. Well, like standard looking ones. Yeah. But they're brand new, made by a tuning company. So, obviously S15 headlights have gone up to like 2,000 euro or whatever for a clean set with all the brackets. Exact same as standard. Oh, that was nice. So like that. Produced, can you see that? Produced by D-Max. Produced by D-Max. So they're made by D-Max, who also made the body kit for this red PS13. And they made the real light. So you'll know that normally they have a little Sylvia thing in here, but they don't have that on these, but they have got a produced by D-Max sticker on it, which is very cool. So, so give a price comparison of these. So a brand new set of S15 headlights in this condition would have been about 2,000 euro, and these were 500 euro. So 500 euro for a brand new compared brand to 2,000. Everything works, everything, all the brackets are complete, brand new. I don't know how it's, why it's taken so long for S15 lights because like you can go into buy any spurious golf headlight. Yeah. So like I don't know why I don't know why the market never came around, but now it's here. They're gonna look gangster, on it, aren't they? Like the black headlights are so much nicer than the silver ones. This is some BC Racing coilovers we're standing today for the Supra. So we're gonna deck the Supra because it's annoying me that the right height isn't very nice on it. And there's yeah. lots of nice parts. Make it unpractical like every other car. Exactly. What's your daily car now? The Supra. Oh well, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I see what's happened there. I'm not gonna make it too bad. I'll make it just a bit lower at the back. Why, why is the G today? Or G, whatever it is, GX100. Right. I've definitely ruined that now. Yeah. yeah. Why is it super? Ruined, ruined that slowly it. as well. Yeah. Might be getting a new van though, I might drive that every day. Ruined that. So, so you have a super and a GX100, and you drive a van as your daily. Well, I wanna lower the van though and put out. <laughs> it's what's happening again. It's happening again. You bought, you bought a golf van before as well. What happened that to that? Yeah, that went up. Well. That went well. For yeah. two weeks. Okay, while we try and figure out that airbag disaster, I wanna give a big shout out to one of our partners here at Drift Games, the Tire Box. Now you guys know that we put tires on absolutely everything and we ask for the craziest sizes from all the way from Stancy Boy wheels to drift tires to vans to trucks, everything. They have it all online and the best prices and next day delivery. So check out the tirebox.com. They have something for everybody. Tell them Dave sent you. Now that we've got that ad out of the way, I don't really want to look over at my PS13 because I'm a bit depressed now. So what I'm going to do is send you back to happier times. About a week ago, when we got a massive pallet from the US from Drift HQ, Duarte and the boys sent us over some goodies for all of our cars. And we never put it in the video, so roll it here. The big thing that's been happening on the videos is everyone wants to know what's in this box. You can forget to open it. So this box has been here for probably a year now, and we don't know what's in it. So we have two very special boxes. We have this one, which we can't remember what's in it. And this is the one we've been waiting for for four or five months, well, four months now. No, three and a half months. From it was Drift. that long ago. Three, three and a half months ago. Wow. Now the reason this was held up, there's parts in it that were custom made, it wasn't Drift HQ holding it up. We actually spent way too much money, so I'm a bit scared about what we, I can't even remember what we've got in this, so. Um, let's open this one first, because I, t I honestly can't remember what this is. I, I so want to say, and let's move on to the next box. <laughs> yeah, just leave it for the whole year of telling nobody what it is. Let's hope it's not something that we really needed and we bought again, which can happen too. Okay, 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 so. Oh, right, there's another box inside a box. Let's see what it is. Headlights? No, I think this could be tail lights for an E46. Let us see if that is what it is. I think this is my rear LED. There they are. The rear of an E46. LED jazz special. I was gonna say they'd be jazzy. Yeah, jazzy. What's a jazzy car? But yeah, now we know what they are. They are E46 rear lights and they're two pieces as well, so there's another little piece inside, but they're very fancy. The mystery has now been solved. And we're gonna put it on top. Was that as exciting as I you think I, I don't think <laughs> it was as exciting. A pile of lights. We've got a pile of lights. There we go. Up on the pile of lights. Right, I'll say see. attack there. Attack here. You think? I don't know, just I just rip it open like Christmas morning. It's stacked. Absolutely. Good lord. Right. Here so, we go. Here we go. A lot of stuff here. I, I, think, I think we're going to have to rapid fire through this yeah, now because. This. I remember doing a bit of a supermarket sweep there in Drift HQ. I think Dave got a little bit out of I control. Have well, I've only got two things in oh, this whole you? box, so I would say the rest of it's yours. Yeah, okay. So we got Drift HQ hoodie. 
Thank you, Duarte. We have got, this is a lot of Corvette parts, so I think this is, yeah, that is a seal for an engine. So, I was gonna say, you, you, you asked them, Cricket, to package you up a whole spares package for an LS and the Ford. Yep. So we got lots of like, these are uh, standard inner tie rods because we don't have any of those spare for the FDF kit. Belts, pipes, these are pipes that, these are basically, the boys know LS. These literally just more. They know LS, oh God, they know LS3s. Really? They know LS3s so well that they basically know what goes on them. The, so uh, this is gonna be the first. That's a power steering pump. I bet you were thinking, a uh, head gasket and some tie rods or something. They've gone to town. They have. People love unboxing videos, so we'll just go through this because I'm actually really curious to see what everything is. But these are extras for the FDF kit. So yeah, they're the bits that connect the inner tie rod to the outer tie rod. Th those can bend if you crash. Yeah. So I've got some of those spare now. This is a, the entire, every single poly bushing for the car, which is a big problem we have at the moment with most of the bushing. Well, the, the fact you got standard ones on there. They're rubbish. So that's What's this? this? That is a head gasket. We've got more seals, more gaskets. Yeah, this is all the stuff that they said. It is going to get exciting very soon. I'm going to get through all the boring stuff first. A serpentine kit, whatever the hell that is. Well, obviously, you needed one of those. That is a serpentine kit. Is that an oil pump there? That is a full oil pump. This one's light. You're planning on breaking a lot of stuff this year. You know what, I'm planning on breaking nothing. <laughs> but I'm planning on if I do break it, it not going, oh well, that's the end of that. Because that's what we were doing last year. So this year... And it was there. the end of that. And do you know what the worst thing is? I bought all this now, so nothing will go wrong. That's literally what's happening. Oh, if you got a spare engine, your engine will never yeah, go. Never fact, go. fact. If you want a very reliable engine, buy two and have one as spare and tell everyone, I don't really care if this one doesn't last, I've got another one and it'll never break. At least we can go in the truck and say, we have most of the perishable parts that can go wrong in the car. Well, the worst thing was last year, Luckily, it didn't. Nothing. But if something went wrong, you couldn't say, well, let's look in the, look in the truck for the spare part because there was the, none. I know the rest of the stuff that's going to be in here is quite exciting, right? So I think this is a Josh one. Which one's this? Yep, yeah, that's a Josh one. Oh. Surprise, surprise, Dave. I've got a purple you got one. A purple what? Quick release? Well, oh, paper quick release because the other one was stressing me out in my car because it took too long to put on. So this is a quick release, but this is a quick release for... Is that a boss? It is. For an E46. It's for Adam. Adam's getting a good deal, or does he have to buy all the parts off you? Well, how, how, how does that work now? Uh, the worst thing is I've ordered stuff that's still arriving for that car and I've already agreed a price with him, so I'm like, crap, I have to give all this stuff to him. But anyway, that's going to go on the small accessories interior. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. This I mean, is where it gets very interesting. Dave has two and I have one of these, so. Yeah, I've got two steering wheels, two very, very, very special steering wheels. One is pure jazz. This is the limited edition NRG Forest Wang yeah. steering wheel. Oh, look at that. That's badass. That's that. very nice. Right, what's this one? This could be you or me, what do you think? Can't remember which one I ordered. Oh, this is me. Look at that. Sparkly. I actually forgot, this is actually quite jazzy. What are you going in with that? That car. So the steering wheel's worth more than the car. That's interesting. I think I just went all out on this one. This is like, literally, it's like someone, they address every single part to a different department and said make it as jazzy as possible and this is what they came, up, they came back with. Oh my god. That is like, even the inside. <laughs> it's outrageous, isn't it? Look how outrageous that is. That is the wildest steering wheel I think I could find in Drift HQ and I said, well, that interior is so boring and crap, I need something a bit wild. And I think I've nailed it. And this is the missing... There she is. That's the most important part of the I know, I was, I was gonna say that was, yeah. So this is, Josh, the sump for that, because which has been the problem with to, that car. To stop it leaking on your car, hopefully. To stop it peeing on everything else. That was the main problem with the car, was the sump. Well, I bloody hope so, because if it's, if it's not, we've been chasing them. It's not the sump, we're just gonna burn the car down to the ground. What is this actually out of, or what's this for? What's Straight. this for? This is for a, um, what are they called, the Datsun pickup truck. Sunny use, essentially. Yeah, we'll so yeah, the, yeah, the Sunny, so it's uh, for the conversion for an SR20 for the Sunny. So yeah. for people that think it's straightforward building cars, we're using a, Dats a 1970s, 80s Datsun pickup truck SR20 conversion sump for an SR20 MX-5 NC. And you think, oh, just throw an engine in it. This is the crap we've got to deal with, which really annoys me. But this looks really good. This should solve the problem. It was having oil leaks and oil pressure problems because of the sump pickup. This hopefully will solve that problem. And that car then pretty much just needs this in there and then it runs fine. So that's 
not we waited a long time for this, but at least Josh, it like is if it is the problem solver, it's a well worth wait, I think. All right, so today hasn't gone exactly to plan, but one thing that is going to plan is this car, thankfully, one of the PS13. So this one now, I've got some decals on it. I threw some decals on the GX as well. Um, we're getting some Drift Games ones made up that'll be on the back window alongside the Drift HQ stuff and all the other BC stuff that we put on there. I'm pretty happy so far. One thing, we are sitting up here, Josh, look at this. This is a new podcast. Our new podcast is well it's not done yet we have to set it up so what we're going to try well, to technically that's that's actually set up that's actually set up well the idea is we're doing a very compact kind of setup so that's literally all we use and that's our mixer and then the free microphone so we can take this wherever we're going to yeah, so like pack it in a bag so say we're in Europe or America or whatever we can still do a podcast just throw it in a bag and we can actually have fun and do it wherever we are and have guests on and all that good stuff at the moment we have a three person setup for me Josh and Adam we're going to do the first couple of episodes we want to put a TV screen here somewhere so that we can show stuff from the internet we want it this is going to be quite a topical show we don't want it to be kind of just boring we want it to be our honest opinion of car culture and what's going on and every week the topics and the beefs and all the good stuff so it's going to be quite controversial I think we're going to be a little bit more open on this than we would be on any of the other platforms so I'm excited for it so stay tuned we're hoping to shoot the next one uh shoot this one this week when this video goes out so hopefully stay tuned to our social media and we'll let you know exactly when that's happening our idea is to go to five videos a week so it's a lot of work but we're hoping that we can get it done because we're going big for this year I guess that's our plan but our plans don't exactly go to plan like, well, we're to like this we're supposed to have a photo shoot this is the reality guys because i mean every video you want it to be a banger and so do we but like we just wanted to bring these two for a photo shoot today and literally this one which has done a kilometer of driving in the last year and it's now got a registration and everything on it now just explodes the bag. So that's the reality of cars in general. Everything you think is gonna be an easy job turns into a very hard job. Um, but what I like about it is all those little trials and tribulations, when you get past them and you eventually get the car finished and it's working, you get a nice sense of satisfaction at the end of it that you've worked through the hard part to get to the good part. So considering everything's gone to absolute toss today, um, I'm gonna to give you guys a little update on the compound. So sit down with me and I'll tell you what's going on at the moment. This is a bit of an insight to how the podcast is gonna be. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome. Topic, topic, opinion, opinion. No way. You're all idiots. Anyway, so the compound. Thought we'd get to planning by this stage. Turns out that there was a lot more pricing that needed to be done. So I think I've got to the end of the pricing now. I think we've got the pricing of the bare bones of what we want to build done. And then we'll be able to go to planning and we'll actually send that over to an architect who'll be able to put that together for us. Positive at the moment, um, and we haven't got to the planning stage, which is a bit I'm worried about, but even the pricing stage is crazy expensive. Like everything we thought would be quite a cheap fix, tarmac, concrete, uh, all the building stuff, all the supplies, even the regulation stuff that we have to put in, stuff you know that's fire safety and uh, disability access and all that stuff. So there's a lot of stuff that I probably didn't really fathom at the time because if it was a private place for us, uh, we wouldn't have to go through all this, but because we want it to be a public place for all of you guys to come and visit, we have to make sure that it's safe and everything else. So that's getting there. It's just a slow process. I don't think it's going to really hamper the end goal of trying to get it built by the end of the year, but I think it's just going to be, we want to make sure that we go into planning with everything right, because if we don't, it's just going to bounce back again and we're going to be over and back with that. So we're just making sure that's 100% right. Um, on top of that, we are going to go into a lot of shows this year. I'm working on the calendar. I think I'm just waiting on the Irish Drift Championship dates and then I'll be able to put out the full calendar of what we're going to this year. There's lots of shows, lots of traveling. We actually got a really exciting call from the US uh, two nights ago about an event that we haven't mentioned before. So there's a lot of cool stuff coming. So that's really, really good. And I'm really happy with that. It's just been a bit slow. I think this time of the year, like January, February, March, is like everybody's planning, everybody's building, everybody's getting ready for a season. And I very much think that Drift Games 
from April on is exactly what we're aiming for. From April to December, massive amounts of content, traveling, cars, events, going on the road. We're obviously working a lot of events that you guys will see behind the scenes. So that's kind of what I want this whole channel to be for this year because it's difficult at the moment because it's kind of random for you guys to watch different bits and pieces and like we'll come down today and shoot a video that doesn't happen or try and get stuff ready. So, you know, it's always trying to do so many things at the one time, but hopefully all of these machines will be road ready for April and we can go out and meet all you guys at all the different shows and meets around our own UK and Europe and further afield. So that's the plan. But today's video did not go to plan. So keep an eye for the one shot we just talked about. Keep an eye for the podcast. We'll let you more on social media. We really appreciate you guys going to the merch shop as well because the merch shop obviously funds all of this and alongside of our amazing sponsors. So all of those those little pieces come together to make it possible for us. And obviously we don't have an unlimited budget for all of this. So we're trying to, the more support we get on the channel, the more support we get from the sponsors and the merch and the more support we get in the merch, it means we have more budget for the compound. So that's how it all works. You guys know that. So this has been an absolute disaster of an episode. And you know, we've gone from crazy need for speed shoots in Dubai all the way to an episode where we got to the front door of the garage and the car collapsed and blocked all the other cars in. So that's pretty much the reality of trying to do something like this. So let us know in the comments what you're looking forward to. If you have any ideas, for us on the podcast any ideas for us on the one shot any ideas for us on what shows we should go to this year what we should do to make the channel more enjoyable for you guys other than destroy ourselves and our cars within two minutes of starting the video let us know in the comments below we really appreciate all the comments we read all of them and yeah this has just been a little bit of a catch-up episode a lot of cool stuff being planned and coming over the next couple of weeks hopefully by april we'll be in full swing and everything will just be nice and smooth but until then Thank you, as always, to all of our partners. Thank you to our fans. Thank you to everybody who helps us out. We're getting there. It's been a slow winter of trying to get stuff ready, but we're being ambitious because we want to have an awesome spring and summer. So we shall see you on the next episode.